Hello, uh, today we will see how to set up, uh, have a few things to set up. So it's a walkthrough. I will just deploy them and maybe comment on them. It will not be live because sometimes I need to Google a uh, few things. Actually, I might do them live. Uh, we will see. The first thing I, I want to install is Portainer. Uh, for this I want so what I want to do so I set up a VPS uh, I changed the SSH port I changed a few other things uh, and then now I would like to set up portainer MQTT and node red and an influx database then Grafana and that's a lot um, <coughs> So, uh, the first thing is to set the portainer. This will make managing all of this uh, easier. Mm. So, I want what I want to do is to have the Docker uh, volumes saved somewhere so that I can save them uh, afterwards. So, I decided to put them in this folder. Let's see if this works. This seems uh, to be working. So I will just stop the recording for a few seconds and um, check if I can uh, do a few recording setup. So let's try again or let's continue. Um, now if I go to the IP address uh, 2.9000, I get to this page where I need to set up a password, create user. Okay, so Docker. Uh, and then, yes, we had this uh, in our command, connect. And now, yes, amazing. We have, if we go here, we have our images and we have our containers. So this is portainer. The next step is to do uh, MQTT. So, actually, I will use Chromium. So we need the ports, and I guess that's it. Uh, can be changed to persist data. Oh, the first thing we, I would like to do is make a dear MQTT. Okay. Then. Uh, Okay, so we will first create this. That's how I understood it from last time I did this. Uh, so we will run this first. And then uh, we will... And then we will change this mosquito.conf to add these three. Uh, and if my memory is good, should already be done uh, the way it's supposed to. Uh, error source is not a directory. What's the problem here? Let's 
source is not directory. Okay, uh, so we will do this. We will create the file. <coughs> uh, Mosquito.conf. Or maybe should I do it here? Copy this. Then uh, go here. And that should be it. And for this one, I would like to do the same. hope that this will work. It's taken a long time. It's good news, actually. How is it? taking very long. Oh, oh, I think it's done. I think it's because it, it has this interactive. Uh, what happens if we go back here, refresh? Yes, we do have it here. We can start it. Great be working. We will rename it. How do we rename it? We go here. Edit this. Uh, yes, small. Containers. Great. That's one good thing done. Then. Uh, This one is is a good one. Okay, we'll take this one. Uh, hey dear, not red. Oh no. Oh yes, okay, I guess that's good. And now, uh, how do I do this? 
so I'll just edit this here the port is good my node red I just replace it with node red oh this is okay this is the name of the uh, here we said this not red and then name just not red and then take it from not red not red oh i don't want the interactive shell maybe i even want the run in the background permission denied we will fix this as well already exists okay we need this then okay and then log out and log back in okay uh, I need to do this outside can I just docker list yes great that one problem solved oh interesting we don't have our uh, where is it this one maybe i shouldn't have added this oh it's already in use hmm. let's see refresh Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, let me shift start it. Starting and stopped. Why is this? Permission denied. remove the volume that goes with this mosquito conf and used we'll keep it portainer data we'll keep it oh, what is this what are these mqtt mqtt oh uh, mounted log okay is there a name a way to rename these mqtt data okay To rerun uh, I will I will run it with the default uh, command hmm 
and twerking. Why is this? Let's go to the portainer, refresh this list. And now we have one more, 900 data. And <coughs> okay. Okay. Actually, I will just keep uh, things the way they are, and um, I will use rsync from another server from somewhere else that will have enough data to copy actually my um, my local files, my computer, and the files of my server to uh, to two folder to two local folders. This way I don't have to bother um, uh, knowing uh, which volume is uh, which because because of these names. Even though, sorry. Oh, it's already in use. Where are you? Here, go away. Yes, please. You edit. <coughs> if everything worked uh, as expected, uh, if we go to the IP address of the machine. And so it is working. <coughs> Great. Uh, we will test later on. We will test this. Uh, now we will <coughs> now we will um, go over what else do we need influx database and grafana so influx Exposes a shared volume under <coughs> Okay, we'll do we'll copy this one and we will keep it the way it is. Oh. So we'll stop this. Um oh, we will remove the node red folder. This directory, yes, I know. Thank you, Alice. Okay. Is there something inside? Yes. How much? 7%. Okay. Actually, I will uh, try to redo the, or maybe not, the not red volume. I'm not happy with the way it is. Or maybe not, 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 not for now. Um, so the next step was to do this. Oh no, was to do make tier uh, influx database and then uh, cd into it and then this. Uh, 
Oh no, we didn't give it a name. Okay, we'll do it through a portainer. I think we are done. Portainer, please. Is there a way to uh, auto update? Uh, what is this? So Nodred did not run in as expected because 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 uh, because we stopped it. Okay, start. This one. So we will test if this works. For this, we will. Um, I will test. Influx database. So we just need to uh, curl. So we just need to to do this. Uh, I will do it on. Um, on on the other screen because I don't want to share even though I already did it somehow I don't want to share the IP address of my machine okay we got a reply that I cannot share, but we got something, no data, no content, a request ID, yeah, we got a reply. So that's cool, <coughs> the database is working, and now we just need uh, a Grafana. I guess that's it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not our case for now. I need to stop this. So I guess we stop the... Here, refresh. Yes, I want you to start. Oh, we will check the policies. Um, but before that... I would like, how can I make it refresh automatically? Ownership settings, auto refresh every 30 seconds. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so, restart policy. Um, and let's stop the update. Then, elastic black, this one is new. And let's stop the update. Then influx and stopped update uh, MQ2. 
entity and the stopped update container uh, and the stopped update or maybe always keep it this one update. Yes, uh, we'll change this even though I really like this uh, generated randomly generated names. Uh, we will call it Grafana, yeah, the most original name ever. Uh, and then we will check if this works. So we'll go to the IP address, to this IP address. And it does work. It does work. You can see it here. Uh, I don't know the default name and password. Oh, we have parameters here. Okay. Okay, uh, we need to. Oh, uh, that's how how you do it. Hmm. Okay. We will do it from another way. Wait, I guess uh, influx database uh, change admin password. Uh, okay, so this is done in uh, the console, and for to access this, you, you need to um, Docker interactive. Uh, the I is for interactive. The T I don't know what that is. The name of influx database, and then bin, and then something. It doesn't work. Exec. Yes. So what we did is we launched in in the influx uh, container. We launched this command, and this gave us this prompt. And in this prompt, we are supposed to uh, to 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 do this, to execute this. So we leave my control D. What was it again? Bash, bash, uh, bin, uh, bin dot bash, I think. Bin, bash. Yes, this way we, we have, so we are in the Docker container, in the influx database Docker container. Uh, default Grafana. Password. Admin and admin. Ah, uh, no, new password. Submit. Great. This is working. Uh, so I will add to the to do list. Change Grafana password. Change. Um, influx 
database password uh, add node red password um, I think that's it portainer done mqtt oh add mqtt password influx grafana node red yes so now what I would like to do is to delete this one remove and then relaunch so CD go back oh wait ls influx yes there's something there uh, then make the uh, node red and then this one but I would like to change this to dollar pwd if I'm not wrong dollar pwd yeah, yes I think uh, we'll change my not red to just not red and that should be it no it's not working oh already in use okay refresh go away yes remove Okay, I don't know why it's not working. Crazy. Will it work if I do this? It did work. And here, I don't even know where. Oh, I don't even know where this is. Start and then volumes. Refresh. I think this one's unused. Move it, go away. Okay. That's, that's good for now. Yeah, that's good for now. I will stop the video here. I hope this was useful. We set up for uh, end of things for uh, 
Internet of Things uh, service, simple service. <laughs> 